Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. My name is Tiffany, thank you for joining me. This video, we're gonna be going over questions you can ask during the interview process. As you know, the interview process, it's a long one. We've talked about this before. You'll speak to recruiters, you'll speak to hiring managers, you'll speak to team members, um, and possibly even more people than that. But those are the three general categories that we're gonna focus on in this video. It's important to ask the right questions to the right people at the right points during the interview. So I have a few that I've been going and asking and I wanna share them with you today. So hopefully you'll stick around to the end of the video. Please give this video a like and share it with anybody who you think might benefit from it and let's go. A couple things to keep in mind as you do ask these questions or some variation of these questions in your own interviews is to make sure that you're listening. Make sure you're listening to the answers that they're giving and then also you are having a dialogue a conversation with them you know they mentioned some skills or some technology they used etc make sure that you are then answering back with you know hey I've used this before or I have this skill or whatever so make sure it's an open dialogue at the end of the day you're interviewing them just as much as they're interviewing you and the second thing to keep in mind is to make sure that you are writing down notes as they are talking so it's it's enough to be listening but it's even better when you're writing down notes because if you are like myself who is interviewing with a lot of companies then you want to make sure that you're keeping all the information uh, together for the company that you're interview interviewing for the last thing you want to do is like talk about some technology that is specifically for one company but you're talking about it with another company and they don't use that and then and it just gets awkward <laughs> so I've never done it but make sure that you um, keep everything together and you jot down notes um, and then also if you need to go back and like ask further questions to dive a little deeper absolutely do that because that's part of the process as well so you don't have to ask all of these questions but it's uh, you know you could pick and choose or you can create your own that come up from it um, and if you do have other questions that you do ask in interviews that you want to share drop them down below I'd love to hear them like I said I've grouped these into three groups let's get started with the HR slash recruiter questions that you could ask all right so for this one we're gonna ask about I have about three questions so one of them is specifically how did this job become available you really want to know this question because you want to know what kind of person they're looking for and hopefully by asking this you could figure out you know what who they're looking for also why they are hiring um, and then also tune in to any kind of clues that might give you they might give you when they at when they answer this question that could help you further down the line if it's a specific skill set they're after and you have that skill set you really want to drive that home so they know that you are uh in the you know that you can be the top percentage in these candidates that they're looking through and you know people they remember those things recruiters remember those things so just um really lean in in this question and listen to what they're saying and um really react as well like I said with all of these questions you want to react to them but with this one you really want to be able to react and kind of reiterate how you could be a best fit for this role another good question is what is the hiring process this question is important because it will tell you about like the timeline it's gonna take in order for you to complete um, this whole interview process and what to look forward to if there is a coding challenge and then maybe there's like a, a technical discussion that you need to be aware of it really tells you how long the process is going to take and that really helps you because as you're organizing your job search then you can kind of put down the timeline of when you expect um, or the next process to take the last question is similar like it it's related to the one before about the hiring process but it's the timeline for hiring this is important because um, sometimes people really want to hire quickly sometimes they're in not so much of a rush but you could also use this opportunity to lean in and understand the need of someone they're looking for and if you fit that need you could also 
um, capitalize on that need that need later on when you get to like the offering stage. So be um, abreast to that. But um, another thing to really listen to the reason and you know if it is something that's very quickly to where they're hiring really kind of pay attention because sometimes there are red flags and you're like oh why are y'all hiring so quickly like you know especially if it's not a company that you know about or even if it is that you know about you might just be curious but really listen and understand and make sure that they know like the answer to this question if they don't really know or if they're kind of just dancing around the issue and they're not talking about it that could be a red flag as well so just keep those things in mind as you ask this question and then um really uh understand the information that they're bringing back to you and pay attention to how they're delivering it as well the next group of questions are for hiring managers there's six questions here because this is an important process so one thing I always ask is how many engineers are on the team? For me, this is important. I wanna know if it's a smaller team or if it's a larger team. I, at this point in my career, am not really interested in being the first engineer on the team or the second engineer on the team. Um, it makes me nervous. So <laughs> at this stage, at where I'm at, um, I'm more so looking to um, be a part of that teamwork and be a part of the in, being part of an engineering team that you know is at least four or five people or so um, because it's it's diverse thoughts diverse ideas like I said for me that count matters but for you it may not matter as much it just kind of depends on the industry and um, who's recruiting this just a lot goes into it um, so it kind of just narrows down to like what your needs are and what you want so just kind of go with your gut feeling there another question is what could the company or team improve on listen to the answer to this very carefully because if they can't explain what they can improve on or they're like everything's great then you know something isn't right like <laughs> because not everything is great and so you want something from them that um really gives a genuine answer of things that they currently are trying to improve on if they're currently trying to improve on it that means they actively know this is an issue and that they they can define those kinds of issues and that they are able to find uh, resolutions for those issues so that's a very important skill for a company as a team to have and so if you don't know what you're doing wrong then you can't really fix it and it's just broken forever really hone in on how they answer this and their approach to how they're solving those those pain points that are within their um, team or company what are the challenges for someone coming into this position so I like to ask this question because I want to know what I'm getting myself into. What productivity tools do you all use? Now, this one you can ask to hiring managers and recruiters. Recruiters might be using different tools than the actual hiring manager because the hiring manager, um, you would hope, is some sort of engineering manager or of the like, someone like that. So. The reason why I put this under hiring manager is because you could, I hope that you would gain more insight into like what the dev team is using. If they're um, using a specific technology to deploy their projects with or something like that, just to give you a basic insight. I don't expect them to go like dive deep into how it works, but um, it, it would be nice to know, you know, we use GitHub for version control. We use Slack for communication. We use Zoom for um, phone calls. We have daily standups, things like that will help you start to paint the picture of what it would look like working at this company. So, and especially if it's tools that you've used before, then you can come in and know that you feel comfortable using those technologies, if nothing else. If you're, if you're going into a position where the coding language is different and the, the code itself is different, then it might appear to be overwhelmed, but at least if you know the technologies that are being used, you could feel somewhat comfortable there. Is the team agile? or not? What kind of productivity flow do they do they follow? Some recruiters might know how this works, um, but 
I would recommend asking the hiring managers as well as they'll have deeper insight and can tell you more about the workflow for the specific team that you'll be on. It's important to know going in kind of what you're getting into again and what, you know, you have to lean into maybe if you don't know about agile then you have to figure that out or if they tweak their agile process a little bit and they add in more things um, i've seen that as well at different companies um, and so everybody's workflow is different for the most part everyone's working on different products so it's important just to ask just so you have a basic idea of what to expect is there a product team or do engineers talk directly with business? At my last position, it was, you know, everyone was, for the most part, when I was there, everyone was talking directly to business and it created a lot of confusion and, you know, things um, may have taken longer to get done and this and that. So um, it does matter how the team is structured in terms of, you know, who are you going to to ask questions if you get, if you get a requirement for a task, like, uh, or maybe you don't get any requirements and you have to figure that out for yourself. Those things are important to know. And they kind of go in line with like, is it agile or not? And so again, some of these may be related to one another and you don't, like I said, you don't have to ask all these questions all at once, but at the end of the day, it's good to know who are the people that you'll be talking with. Common misconception of engineering is that you don't have to talk to anybody. That's not true. So <laughs> you'll be talking to somebody. It's just a matter of, is it product you're talking to the most or is it business you're talking to the most? Who's who's gonna win there? And then you're also talking to engineers. So it's like one or two, it's usually a bunch of people that you're talking to. So it's important to have a, just a basic structure of who are the people that you need to speak to on a day-to-day -day basis. The last group are team members. So I have two questions that you could ask team members and you could certainly build on these if you want. Um, again, if you have additional questions, be sure to jot them down below. We would all like to know what you ask in interviews. One of the questions I like to ask is, what is something you wish you would have known before you started? This question could give you a leg up if you were to start there. So if someone's saying they wish they would have known more about a certain technology, or maybe they wish they would have known more about like the workflow process or something of that sort, then you're in a position to gain that knowledge before you get there. And so um, it could be beneficial for you. So definitely take advantage. The second question, question is what is something that you've learned while working here either on the team or at the company now I like to hopefully get insight into the team here um, and I like to hear the answers because if someone tells me they've learned nothing while they've been there that's a red flag ladies and gentlemen and you don't want to work there <laughs> because they have learned nothing which means what is it going to do for you so that's not good. The last question you could ask in all parts of your interview, whether it be with a recruiter or a hiring manager or team members. Um, and that question is, what's your favorite thing that you enjoy working at this company? This tells me what keeps them at the company. What is that driver for you that keeps you waking up every day, these days, most likely walking to a computer and logging in? What is that what is that motivation for you that keeps you doing that at this company specifically? It's one of those things where if it's just about the perks, we might have some problems because if they're like, hey man, I log in so I can get my 25% discount. It's like, okay, calm down. <laughs> That's a problem. So again, pay attention here to what the answers are because that'll give you insight into not only their motivation, but how excited are they gonna be? And if they're excited, they're gonna wanna be helpful to you and get you up to speed. So you can also start being excited and ready to contribute. So it's all a domino effect, people. So really make sure to hone in and understand you know, 
what they're relaying back to you. A lot of people will talk about their end users and that's wonderful, but there's some people that don't want to, that, that that's not the first thing they're saying. And it's like, Oh, okay, cool. Just be careful about your responses, the responses that you're getting there. And then also, you know, be prepared to talk about what motivates you about going to work, either from past experiences or what gets you excited these days too. So thank you for making it to the end of this video. Give me a like, share it with anybody who you think might benefit from this y'all. Um, and then also, you know, come back and subscribe if you're, you know, subscribe, Turn your notifications on, all that YouTube people stuff. You know, do those things. That's good. <laughs> Please be safe, guys, and be nice to others. And I will see you in another video. Take care. Bye.